um, your your version of what happened, your version of like looking back at the past, it is through rose uh, tinted, you know, uh, glasses. So it's it's not reality. It's not grounded on reality. Um, it's really important for you in general to just um, figure out. Don't look at what I would say like, okay, look objectively at what transpired in the past. Don't think about best case scenario because um, it, that's not grounded on reality. Think about the patterns. Think about the people. Think about, you know, what really transpired and why these same problems keep creeping up again with your interaction with that certain somebody in your past, okay? Figure that out. If it's coming from you or it's coming from them, and um, don't think about what ifs because I do feel like multiple tries have been had with this person and it's not working. So you're going back to it. It seems to me like it's a waste of time. So just keep that in mind. All right. And try to get through that situation. For a lot of you, there might be like, um, you know, a, a change in a home environment and you're hoping to either sell a property but the property itself is very problematic, so it, it might require like a lot of repairs. There might have been a lot of little expenditures in the process of repairing the property, and you're looking for somebody to like um, basically appraise the the area. And then you know the appraiser comes in and they tell you, oh, other things have to be fixed in order for you to be able to sell it. And I do feel that um, you know two months, like around. Um, so we are in August, like around when the sun is in your sign, I'm getting two months here. There's some stall situation when it comes to trying to sell an estate, trying to sell a property, trying to fix an estate. I do feel that for the next two months, you're going to be bogged down with trying to fix this issue, this housing issue. And because of it, um, I do feel that it is going to be able to sell by possibly, I'm getting like third week of October. The third week of October, there's going to be a very, very important person coming through in order to sell this property to, in order to sign a lease for a new location, if that's something you're looking for, okay? But momentum, like um, traction, that getting that green light is going to come through for you in the future. So I do feel that you are working very, very diligently in order to um, fix this situation. And I do sense that if it is in general like a relationship, let it go. If it is like specifically like house related or specifically like ex even expanding your house because there's a, a new person, like a new child, somebody that you're incorporating into your foundation. So you're trying to expand your foundation to accommodate, you know, additions to the family because we do have the empress. And that to me is a card of fertility, okay? So it could be, you know, um, it could be expanding your house just be to accommodate an, a child coming through. And instead of one child, you might end up with two or multiple and you have to like expand your house drastically. So I'd see that situation coming through. But either way, the energy itself is very circular for this month. And the only outlet for this is you are keeping your head to the grindstone. You're working very, very diligently. And I do sense that um, paying more attention on the work situation, especially if you have just recently started a new work and um a new job, a new started at a new work environment, working diligently is going to be the way out for this month. And because of it, I do feel financial payout as well. Okay. So in every aspect of your life, um, when it's like tied into relationship issues, leave the relationship issues alone. They actually will take care of themselves. I do feel last week of August, we have a lot of strange planetary aspects right now. So, um, for those of you in general, and I, I say this with all the signs, if you're trying to fix things, if you're trying to find your bearing, if you're trying to like um, get through the muddleness or you know the murkiness in relationships, the relationship aspects will work themselves out. The very very last week of this month is what I'm sensing, especially for you guys. So spend the uh, the month being more productive, especially on the income generating front. Because that to me is something that seems a little bit more urgent for Libras because of the financial situation. Haven't been looking too great in the past. So that's where you want to devote your energy, okay? Working, working. And um, don't get yourself sidetracked by other people and their issues. 
do whatever you feel needs to be taken care of on your end in order to bring you a lot more stability and satisfaction in your life. And I do feel financial windfall as well as coming through. So if you have been, you know, trying to fix that home, I do sense that you're going to get a good buyer and the, the price that it's selling for is actually, you know, right up your alley. So it looks fruitful. Um, a lot of you might be involved with an earth sign, okay? If you are involved with an earth sign, and, and if for some reason there is a sense of, um, you know, like, um, be just be careful with pregnancies, okay? Earth signs are Taurus, Virgo, and um, Capricorn, okay? So there might be, like, you know, um, fertility issues in the past, and for this month, a lot of you are praying to uh, get pregnant or hoping to get pregnant and I do sense very good news is coming through if you're looking for you know um, s for some guidance or some direction in terms of a fertility issue if you are not expecting protect yourself accordingly when it comes to this earth sign because it's sort of like a very um, it seems to me like it's a very karmic relationship where you might be bound to each other inadvertently because of a child being introduced into the picture okay so just be very very careful if you're involved with an earth sign um, the earth sign is male or female you yourself male or female so um, it can create like um, it can actually dampen a potentially um, good relationship mainly because of unexpected pregnancies okay it might destabilize the home life it might also require like create unnecessary stress and strain from both parties too early on in the relationship in order to try to accommodate this new child in order to accommodate your new roles in each other's lives okay because now it's not you have to ask, like make the take the relationship to the next level and you might not be ready to do it so that's something i want you to be just um, really careful about um i do feel as well if you have an earth sign from your past okay this is specifically an earth sign from your past coming back into the picture some way i do sense that this earth sign at this point is um growing in their maturity level so i do feel as well if it hasn't worked out in the past mainly because um if your main grievance has been that okay you're not emotionally mature enough for me i do feel they're coming around they're starting to grow up and i do sense that they're somewhat financially you know responsible and um, financial responsibility isn't my the main pre prerequisite for a relationship, but it does say a lot about a person when they can take care of themselves, because then it's pretty much you know they know what's important in life and they know what's worth fighting for. So it's a good indicator in general if someone is at least financially stable and can take care of themselves. They're at least independent. They're at least you know capable of. Um, working at problems working through things so that's um i feel like it's an important indicator okay so if you're involved with an earth sign things haven't worked out in the past i do feel this second time around with a little bit more i guess balance in the relationship as well it can work out for between the two of you okay so keep that in mind as well um finances in general looks very favorable for you so if you have been worried i do sense that there is going to be almost like a an angel investor coming through to save you at the very last minute okay um the ace of pentacles is coming up like from the very very um end and i normally read the first card and the last card to figure out your trans um your progression transformation and your progression from the beginning of the month and the end of the month and it's telling a story which i feel is quite strange well not strange but appropriate um so let's look at this it's you're praying the like the very first week you're praying for something and i'm doing this reading on um the last week of july so this is residual energy coming through from july you have been praying and praying and praying for something and then the universe is going to hand it to you by the end of this month and it's going to come even sooner than the end of this month but i do feel whatever it is that you're hoping for a lot of you are hoping for a financial windfall a lot of you are hoping for some type of a monetary gain it can be selling a business selling a property selling a home selling an estate um selling a piece of land selling something or at least hoping for a loan a very big payment a loan um some financing opportunities coming through, some investment opportunities coming through. 
and you've been wanting this for most of July, and it is going to come through for you. So, you know, don't stress out about um, your finances too much. If you've had, um, you've been in situations where you were like perpetually in lacking money or in like a financial scarcity, like throughout your life, this is an important lesson here for you to just get a better grip on your finances, you know, in terms of budgeting, not spending more than you can, you have, um, you've earned and things like that. So they can be very basic or they can be very, very profound in which a divorce left you, you know, pretty much um, decimated financially or you were in a relationship in which the other person uh, or a, even a business partnership in which you were kind of like stabbed in the back, for example. So this is an important month for you to come to terms with that and then figure out what you can do so it doesn't happen again in the future, okay? But I do feel that if it's on the finance front, your wishes are being answered, okay? And it's going to come through for you, so don't despair, don't stress too much. Um, I do feel as well a lot of you might be kind of like in a situation where you might refinance your home, you might like put your home on the market mainly because of a financial situation and um, just wait it out this month. If you're in, in that type of a dire straight situation financially, wait it out a little bit for this month and I do feel it is going to come through for you unexpectedly, okay? And it's going to answer your prayers. So be patient about it this month. Um, when it comes to like um, relationships that have especially like fallen apart in the past and it's like off and on type of family relationship even, I do sense that you need to really address this issue, find out why you're working so hard at it and the other party is like gaining all the um, the benefits that you're putting in because I do feel with the devil and um, basically you're the one putting all the work in. And multiple times you're putting the work in. So it seems to me like this is something that is very, very one-sided. And I'm sensing like a lot of imbalances in relationships are coming to the fore for a lot of signs to re-examine if whether or not they want to be stuck in it or whether or not they want to move forward with new, even romantic opportunities that God is, you know, throwing on their lap or the universe is kind of bestowing upon you. So think about... Um, Think about give and take. I do sense. Um, think about give and take. Think about what it is that you need versus what it is that you're getting from your current relationships as well, okay? And for a lot of you, um, you are, so what I'm getting here is, you know, this financial windfall is going to like, um, it's going to change the course of your life, okay? It's, um, you're, st you're being steered towards a new direction. But you're really, really hesitant and afraid about taking the next step, mainly because you're still tied to the past and you're still trying to actively force your way, claw your way back and um, bring the past into your future. And the past hasn't been that pleasant. It's surrounded by very, very negative cards and you're trying to bring that into your future plan. So... Libras, um, in general, I know that you are very diplomatic and you have very, um, you know, you have a lot of friends, but um, along with Scorpios, well, Scorpio is just, um, Scorpios are very emotionally tied in with certain people, even though they might not be the best people. But I do feel that you stretch yourself far and wide and you might not attract like high quality people, just be very careful about your associations. Don't bring past energies into the, the next phase in your life. And especially, don't be afraid to take that first step in the direction that will lead you to the next phase in your life. Mainly because you aren't letting go of the past, okay? And especially when it comes to like past unhealthy, toxic relationships, past work situations or especially like um, ties with family situations. I'm going to say that um, a lot of you in general, um, you might have issues like, you know, abuse, like drug abuse, even domestic abuse, I would say, um, coming through, affecting your self-esteem on the family front. So this could be like being in verbally abusive or verbally like, um, um, abusive relationships in which the other person like puts you down and you you don't um 
you don't feel that you're worthy okay so i'm going to say here that we have the empress as well so there is going to be a revival in your lovability in your sense of attractiveness in your sense of you know finally putting your foot down and um gaining regaining control in your life so libras um the time for this year if this is actually a very important month as well. I do feel that a lot of you have been praying for something to come through, like a miracle almost, um, praying for something to come through to help you. It could be fertility. It could be financial, um, you know, lifting you out of your financial burden. It could be ho hoping to sell this property as well. I'm, I'm sensing like a lot of family linkages and ties are coming through and they're not altogether positive okay so think about what it is that you value from life think of money as a means to an end because if you're spending your whole life trying to accumulate wealth i do feel that your relationships might be put on the back burner and your relationships might suffer okay or you could be like i'm sensing like a workaholic this for you know for the past few months mainly because you have financial concerns and because of it, your home life situation is neglected, okay? So think about what it is that um, you value and how your actions are, are showing um, the things that you value, the people that you value, that you value them, okay? So think about what it is that you're hoping to achieve and how your actions are in alignment with the things that you say you're hoping to achieve. I hope that makes sense to you. Um, at the same time, I do sense that... Um, Investing in the right people, okay? Investing your time, your resources, your energy. Um, energetically, we don't want to be around toxic people because we absorb their energy. And um, it's very, very emotionally draining if we're around wrong people. And I, I feel that you know too. And that's why some of us, if we don't like certain people, we just don't want to hang out with them because we have to protect our, um, our aura, okay? We have to protect our energy field. So think about what it is that um, you don't like in certain people and just, you know, try to avoid people in the future with those same traits because um, you don't want to be energetically like drained when you have so much to do and take care of this month, okay? But at the same time, um, I don't feel finances are going to be rocky or anything like that for you. If anything, there is a windfall coming through for this month. So um, don't stress, don't worry too much, okay? And um, if you are expecting, congratulations. I do feel as well that um, in general, this is what I'm getting here. And that, that might not be you know, entirely positive. So all the going back situations do not look positive. And we also have the devil, which indicates to me, you know, this is not in your um, best interest. It's not in alignment with your greater good. If it's a work project, we have to do it out of obligation. So you can go back to, if it's a relationship, 